Hello and welcome to Benda RC. Today is gonna be a um, HPI Lexus LS460 uh, painting. Um, this is actually a tutorial or how I painted it, so uh, I hope you enjoy. So uh, for the first step, all I need uh, to do is to take my body, of course, I cut it and trim it, you can see the fenders right here. Be uh, very careful about the cutting because there's no way back, of course. Here is sh I show the sponge I used, it's got some rough end and a soft end. Uh, I'm gonna use hot water and some uh, wash dish soap okay. for the first thing I'm uh, scuffing it with the soft uh, side and then I'm moving to the rough side uh, for any place that shouldn't be clear as windows uh, headlights, daylights and so The reason we're using a rough side is to make some uh, little crevices in the body. Uh, the paint will stick them much better uh, than the, if they will be just uh, smooth. Rinse it all very very good. If you have some uh, other parts as uh, let's say uh, light buckets diffusers, anything like this, you need to uh, proceed with the same uh, process and then you want to dry it out. You can use uh, several methods, my uh, personal best is use some uh, paper towel. It doesn't really matter what you're using, just make it uh, or use the lint free. Okay, you don't want some uh, fibers or anything like this. You can see the crevices in here. And the next step is masking. Take your time with it. You don't want to rush it because any mistake with the masking will be um, will cause bleeding uh, with the paint inside the the areas you want to mask. You can see here already the windshield and the headlights are masked. Be sure you don't get any um, bubbles inside um, but it's not that important as the bubbles on the edges. Sometimes the mask is not all the uh, covering all the area you want. It will be probably because of um, the uh, decals that's applied with the body uh, will cover the uh, painted area. Okay, here uh, what I'm trying to do is um, making a new mask for the sunroof. Take some sharpie and um, draw the lines for it. I didn't use here some um, ruler or, or anything like that because uh, the body already has some um, marks. Now I cut it from the inside. You don't have to do it, but if you want a clear sunroof, so this is the way to do it. Off the, all the excess. Use regular um, masking tape. Okay, you can buy it in every hardware store. Okay. 
next uh, I'm gonna choose the paint or the paints I'm gonna use the green the fast black uh, fast pearl black for this project I'm gonna use some glitters glitters and this is the fast coat, this is the color. I wanna shake it really good. Okay, now I'm uh, stirring very well. Put it into my uh, airbrush and let's start it. You wanna do some light coats? I'm sorry for the video problems. I have some uh, problems with the camera. You wanna do it as light as you can. Painting first um, first coat should be very light, very solid. It will stick to the body, and the next uh, a few uh, uh, coats will be more uh, with more paint and more uh, materials. Okay, so this is how it looks like right now. You can see it, uh, I hope. I'm gonna take my blower and uh, try to um, make it dry quicker. see the uh, amount of paint and glitters that I'm using. So, after we finish with the glitters, uh, it's time to move on to the paint itself. Um, and uh, again, try to do light coats, don't go heavy on the, fir on the first coat. Um, just want it to be cloudy. Here you will see it a little more than cloudy. Uh, because we have already three or four coats of glitters um, 
you can see how lightly I'm painting. Here you can see it's very clear. Um, you can see the light through it very, very good. Using the flower again to dry it. If you have the time, you don't have to use the flower. You can let it dry on the air. Again, shake the paint very good. Pour it into your um, cup. Add some. Uh, I added here a little black, just to make it a little darker. Use maybe two or three drops of black. This coat, and each coat I'm uh, going a little uh, more with the black. Use uh, on the next. Uh, Coat, I will use four or five uh, drops and then uh, will be something like 70% uh, of green and 30% of black. Uh, I use the pro black in here. Yeah, after the coat, drying it up. You can see now it's a little darker than it was. It's still, uh, you can see the light through it. From uh, here, you will need maybe one or two more coats and a backing. You can see that this coat is a bit um, more heavy than the others. I added some color uh, in the middle of uh, this uh, coat. Again, this is the coat of the 70% green, 30% uh, black. Each and every coat I get more and more black because I want the effect to be, um, let's say, very deep color. Again, adding some paint. At those coats, you want to look at the body. Through light, uh, it can be a lamp or the sunlight or anything like that. See if there is some spots uh, that you didn't cover. 
you can see me looking here and there um, by the places I'm painting you can see how the paints look like right now on the inside it's much much darker than the outside of course because the painting and now we're going to the backing backing will be plain black okay not the pearl black but uh, regular black I'm painting it um, like you will paint matte, uh, matte paint uh, heavy and uh, from distance with uh, higher pressure from the air compressor you can see it, uh, already it's very very dark again using the blower just to uh, make it dry faster now if you have accessories this is time to paint them uh, with the chrome You want to inspect your body and your paint job. Um, as you can see I removed all of the uh, masking. Now I, re uh, as I saw, it's okay. I'm removing the over film, the protective over film. This is the stage when you see the real paint of the car. I can tell you by watching the video, uh, in real life it looks much much better, but you can see how pretty it is. I really like this color uh, very much. Okay, so back to the uh, accessories, um, those are the light buckets that I'm painting with the chrome. After you finish with them, two or three coats, let them dry. Now. Here's the diffuser. Measure the double sided tape and apply it to the diffuser. Now I will uh, apply it onto the car body. Stick it, uh, check it, okay. And uh, now for the stickers, the decals that supplied with uh, the car. Again, take your time. You want to align it, make it um, very, very, uh, let's say, uh, exact. And this is the um, after, <laughs> the final result.
So, I hope you enjoyed my video and maybe learned something from it. Uh, if you like to ask some uh, for some future projects or uh, you have something to say or ask, please feel free to leave a comment below. You can also like my Facebook page, it's called Denta RC, as written in here. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for uh, more videos that will come soon. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye!